Yeah, I decided to continue recording. <sighs> no, I don't want to continue the game. I'm dealing with Luzanard. Ooh, a teleport gem. Handy. Not the button I wanted to hit. So the fun thing with these sliding blocks is that the game doesn't quite register them properly. So that's why sometimes you'll see me run or dash instead of moving them because they're not actually working correctly. And that's not an emulator glitch. That is in base game. It's just bad. Really don't want to rescue you, Liz. You're annoying. You're late. You're so late. I was just about to lay a hand on this poetry anthology. I've kept it in. I don't care if it's poetry or the emperor of death. I'm in a hurry. It's as if you're casting me aside. Or are you just mocking me? Why not both? Uh, wow. wonder why... Did something happen? Wow. It's a lot they don't teach at school. Just give a short explanation, please. In the back of the mouth, in fact, pretty far back, there's a switch. Just imagining the switch in the hand intercepted by the block makes me quiver. Hmm. Can't reach it. <laughs> so sorry. What is it this time? Oh, this is terrible. Just came up with a brilliant idea. Hate to interrupt your glee, but if you have a solution, tell me. Oh, it's easy, really. We just have to use our graceful tails and stay flexible. The rest is easy. Please. He'd ask saying this after asking for help, but please don't make things worse. Remember that gentleness is one of our talents after kindness. I'm leaving it up to you, Ard. Time to show your power. Uh, Ard! Uh, your partner seems to be complaining about something. It seems if you, take the if you take calcium before bed, the absorption is best. No one fusses like lizard. Look at you com at your age crying and complaining. See, I really don't know what they're trying to say here. In public like that, there's no need for it. At any rate, it seems his tail got caught in the switch. How do you propose we proceed? We well, could just let him die. That's one possibility. I mean, the guy's already lived long enough already. Th that's instigation of murder! Don't drag, drag us into your crazy plans. I only want to murder Liz. Art is fine. Let's just hurry and save him. Yeah, not long ago, you would have deserted me, a number one scientist. 
Hard. Hard. Tick. Yeah, that's what it was. Ard, ard, ar, 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 ard, ard. He's very grateful for the rescue. Now, this is top notch human drama unfolding. <sighs> Seems like one problem turns into 10 problems, which turns into 20 problems. How do you manage to stir up so much trouble? Is trouble like a bamboo shoot sprouting up everywhere? Or is trouble like a snowball growing bigger and bigger? See, I'm vocalizing it as frustration because that's about the only thing I can do. If I knew how it actually translated, that might work better. Welp. Look, a lever in a place like that. Hmm. There's a lever. Might there be another scramble request for me? You're not a part of the battle, so it's the least you can do. Besides, good players anticipate and turn and their turn and perform with perfection. Scientifically speaking, of course. <laughs> Science. Science is unavoidable to it as a two-bit scientist. Ready for the opening of the show of world wonders? Really don't know what he's supposed to be saying. Punt. Hold. Are you watching? The goal of, of science is to give people hopes and dreams. No, no, it's not. I think I'm staring at the dangers that go along with scientific progress. Don't call it science. It's really just a combination of many skills. All right, all right, just switch the lever on. Ah, ah, what an ominous sound. Ominous. Wow, teleport. Huh, he disappeared. Seems like he was born under an accident prone star. Meteor kick! That was not all that much damage. That's right. I want to check. What in the world are you? Lily pad. Level 13. 190 hit points. No weaknesses. Yeah, these are really easy enemies. They're not even damaging Vilka. Just take this opportunity to heal up a little bit. I normally don't like recording four videos in one day just because I get really tired and not wanting to talk at the end, but I really just want to get through the stupid Lizard section. Or the first... Liz and Ard section, I should say. There is multiple of them in the game. Because again, this is the comic relief. I much prefer the comic relief of Wild Arms 1. Or even 3. 3's comic relief is pretty good too. What is it, kitty cat? Meow. Meow. Bolt action. The bolt action is a bayonet cartridge for use with Ashley. 
Using this item adds new ammunition to the bayonet. It will attack the enemy with a combination of slicing and shooting, also known as a gunblade. By the way, this was released or this was developed before Wild Arms or this was developed at the same time as Final Fantasy VIII. It was developed before the release of Final Fantasy VIII is what I was trying to say. Zone, what are you doing? Okay. What are you? A jelly blob. And past the chat. No idea what these enemies are. I'm gonna guess ice. Bonk. I guessed incorrectly. That was half damage, although it still worked. Deathbringer. Are you instant death? No, you're just dealing masquerade. You're just doing really small amounts of damage. Okay. Punch. You are in fact weak against getting punched. Good to know. So what are you anyway? Pass the chat. Level 15. 190 hit points. Weak against lightning. And also getting punched in the face. Medicine and revive fruit. I wonder if that... Um, death style attack actually was an instant death attack oh, why did i cancel that i actually want to be in random combats hey there's liz Waste high barrier. Huh, no ever. Even if you're faking it, how about noticing the lizard first? Well, yeah, that's true, but isn't it strange? If there was a pattern, wouldn't he, wouldn't he say something unnecessary? Hey, hey! Isn't that risky? Why does that guy, even when he's quiet, make me uneasy? Oh, it's so infrequent. We're positioned for battle. Woo! <laughs> Shock treatment isn't so terribly soothing. I'm someone who needs to be told to get it. No need to have the experience. Well, I'm glad you're doing so well. It's such a relief. <laughs> of course. At my death, I hypnotized myself. I can't die now, I said, and look at the result. It's sure grand to be alive. I don't care about your joy of living, just get the damn lever. Oh. Why do I get treated so rudely? Judgment Day is just around the corner. You'll get yours then. Good enough. Germatron acquired. Quest for the crystals unlocked. Oh, these are the Germatron crystals Irving talked about. Yes, indeed. That's the Germatron that I've been searching for. The mail order ones from magazines. Don't begin to compare. Those are these are superb, full of magical powers. Hmm. Irving seems to be trying to use the stones to move something. Well, as long as I have Germatron, I can easily make a huge monster. That's what I'd do. What is it? You don't look pleased. Doesn't suit you. That reminds me. Why did you come here? Me? Why else would I be here? It's the Germatron, silly. Can't say you didn't know. Same for us, the Germatron. Huh. What did you say? 
My plans to use the Germantron at the research lab are ruined. I was going to make a grand war monster. So that's it. Of course. The problem started when I brought Undines here for an experiment. He started acting wild. You guys saved me from near death, so I owe you. But the Germatron... Never. Or else I'd be pursued by dangerous men. This is proof of my loyalty to Odessa. Wow, isn't this like a secret disclosure? Blink, blink, blink. There's a traitor among you. It's you. You're literally... Ugh. Maybe, just maybe I thought that it really might be. What? How's that? It's a move too good for waste, uh, too good to waste when there's no one around. But this might not be the time. That's right. We're fighting him. Lead scientific researcher, self-styled, Liz and his assistant, Ard. This is the only good part about this, is that I really like the Liz and Ard battle music. And yes, just like Zed, they have their own battle music. Wow, that's a lot more detailed. <coughs> I wonder what it says on Ard's chest. Hmm. All right. It doesn't really matter which one we attack first because we have to kill both of them. This is generally not a hard battle, by the way. I thought you were gone. That's why I put... Maya back. Blue bug liquid. All right, he's buffing up Ard with poison. Bomb punch. That's right, he poisoned his own researcher. I really don't understand that. Homemade bomb. It hits everyone. AM cluster time. Punch. I am out of AM cluster ammo, and that's fine. Yeah, my punch hits you harder. And Liz is down. Dump truck tackle! That actually almost hurt. And remember, Art is still poisoned. Might as well heal Oka. She's down pretty far now. Knock on. Bazooka! Dump truck tackle! Bonk. Zap. And Art is down. 1500 XP. That's it. Uh, game? Okay. Achievement unlocked. Liz and Ard. Nice art for that. You fiend! Only I had finished the bull cog... Bull cog... Bull co... Gideon. Gideon. 
Bull Kogadin. Wow, he got up. Whoa. Sorry to have troubled you. Seems we're going to say adios here now that everything's messed up. But we're not running away. Any historian would declare this as a brave withdrawal. Enjoy your continuation of your grand adventure. Let's go, Ard. 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 Ah, uh, Erd. Blink, blink. So they're also a Tessa? Hard to hold them in contempt. Really? I mean, they've got guys like that in their organization? They've got so much money, it's frightening. What are you doing, kitty cat? He's acting, well, like zone at this time of night. He's probably just antsy and being curious. I am here to upgrade and stuff arms. There we go. Yeah, you can see where he's at. You see what I mean by he's being a little weird? It's fine. Bad luck with women, but I'm a pro at fixing arms. Maybe you should think... Just... Uh, oops, I did not mean to hit that. Arm upgrade. I never upgraded my armor that explains a few things well while i'm here let's go ahead and do some personal skills because i've leveled up a couple of times wonder i was taking damage that takes four to increase and that also takes four never mind well, that was a bit of a waste. Let's just teleport to Hulse and actually upgrade our armor this time. <sighs> Dreading Liz and Ard are probably the reason why I forgot. I'm just going to blame them. It's easier. All right, armor. You know, this entire section of town that I didn't bother going to. That's magic, I am full on crests. There's weaponry. Can I see your arms, please? No one comes around with arms anymore. I'm going through withdrawal. But for now. Oh, that's right, I gained a bullet, which means I need to reload again. Because they'll upgrade you with bullets and not actually give you the bullet. What the hell, game? Just what the hell. Anyway. Let's go to the chateau.
Pagulite and Germatron. Finally, both types of crystals are ours. With these, we can start up the Emma motor, which is gathering dust in the engine room. Will you tell me what the Emma motor is? You want to understand the details, but I'll make it easy. It's a lost technology that daisy chains electromagnetic links into perpetual motion. And don't think it got its name from somebody named Emma who invented it. No? That's what I thought. No. Irving. Don't you think you had better get started on getting the Emma motor working? Oh, you're right. Good work, everyone. Maryville and I will start our own work now. When the Emma motor comes online, I'll give you your next mission. Rest until then. I want to help, too. This ancient thing will start up in a jiffy. No problem at all. It's not enough time to test it out, but I'm sure she'll work fine. I think. Well, I think our next mission's been decided. Okay, I'll make it short. As soon as we're ready here, we are going to try contacting the Guardians. Guardians? That's right. Contact the mystical Guardians who protect the world and they may aid us in battle. We have finally discovered the key to contacting them. It's known as Plot. Lost technology and Guardians? Scale of this battle is increasing. How much more will we be able to handle? We will handle what we must. If we flinch, everyone in the world will pay the price of pain for our weakness. Arms must not let this come to pass. We only have a short while, but rest yourselves. Remember that rest is duty too. Heh <laughs> you said duty. So, we just have Ashley again. Oh, are you going to meet Marina again? <laughs> well, good luck anyway. Resting for your next assignment is a duty too. Heh, <laughs> you said duty. Repeatedly. All right. Let's go back to Maria again. <laughs> You'd think Irving would just move Marina to the Valeria Chateau at this point. I mean, seriously. Think about how vulnerable an RPG hero's... Um, Friend that he obviously has absolutely no feelings for whatsoever other than friendship. Imagine how many RPG tropes involve um, either ganking the girlfriend or kidnapping or any of that other horrible thing. Oh well, I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen. Why does my chair keep spinning? My legs are not on the chair. I'm not moving it. Is it going to stop? Slowing down. Apparently, this is the position it wants to be in. Uh, what is it with wheelie chairs and doing that anyway? Please just get off the cliff. Just trying to reach Maria. Wonder if by the name Maria Bull. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dude, help! Three of you against these kids? That doesn't seem fair. Tim can take you all on by himself. How about taking me instead? I'm level three. What did you guys do this time? Young arms didn't do anything to piss anyone off. In my humble opinion, these hoodlums seem to be after Tim. Arg! Tim, huh? That means they must be... Come back and fight, cowards! This is Kate. I've spotted a huge flying object over the town of Maria. Registers the same heat and size as the flying machine at Mount Chug Jug. That was the flying machine? Verukius. Damn, it's too soon for the next action. Excuse me? It's nothing, never mind. We can't touch Odissa as long as they keep their forces airborne like that. 
there's a way to get them. Irving, do you have a plan? Well, it hasn't been tested, so I'm not 100% sure. But then this is no time to sweat the details, eh? All right, I'll leave it to you to get out of us out of this mess. First, hurry back to the Valeria Chateau. Let the town of Maria Air War begin. Pre-rendered background. <laughs> Pre-rendered backgrounds are not giving it any favors. Huh, making a uh, making an appearance like this isn't bad, is it? Come again? Our mission is to capture the pillar. Wish you'd not stir things up just for the heck of it. You don't have to tell. I'm sorry. You don't have to tell me. Those monsters in the cage are taken care of, right? The deep freezing of Alf of Alfiel will be completed in three minutes. Finish it immediately, you've got two minutes. Tell me, I already told you what our goal is. To, to acquire the pillar, right. Forget it. We'll let the monsters loose in town and cause havoc, then grab the pillar. Will it really work? Deep freezing is complete, we're ready to go. <laughs> go stir up some trouble. Yep, deploying a boss monster. Luca, Brad, Ashley. Verukius is in the sky above the town of Maria. Irving's supposed to have a plan for interception, so I rushed here. We haven't heard any details, but. We're supposed to immediately gather. Uh, we're supposed to gather immediately in the chateau's area fifty-one. Area fifty-one wasn't that the forbidden zone? I guess it's free now. I think what Irving's starting? Maximum output from the Emma motor. Intercept the enemy at full speed. <coughs> Understood. Only 3.30 until the Emma motor reaches its limit. All indicators are clear. We're good as any... Uh, we're good to go. Everything's just as it was in the simulation. What a great job I'm doing, too. Okay, it's doing all right, too. Don't say things like that. Are you trying to distract me? You just watch the balancer. Oh... Irving, what is this? The Valeria Chateau's secret. We'll use this to intercept them. Should have expected something crazy like this. After all, you're an asshole. What should we do? You're now free to use the deck. Intercept them there. Okay. Full speed ahead. The battle will soon begin over the town of Maria. The entire chateau flies. We're not even close to realistic. Just just go with it. It's fine. It's a flying house. Now you could actually sit on your pedestal. Progenitor bird with wings of light, Alfiel. Time for a boss battle. They did move Ashley back into the front. However, he is still forgetful. So he's just getting shoved into the back right now. All right, our real battle party. Let's go. Um.
So it's weak against Earth because it's a flying creature. Launch. Leg Claw does a lot of damage. I'm fine though. Log on AM cluster because that hits everything. Vilka just keep breaking. Break a leg. Oh, right, I should have. I should use a lucky card. I might do that this turn. This coming one, that is. AM cluster! <laughs> Yep, one leg broken. Yeah, this turn's probably a good time to use it because Bride can't do much of anything else. Uh, lucky card. Break another leg. Lucky card, I actually used one earlier on in the game this time. Oof, Brad's taking a lot of damage. Maybe I should have him heal? More AM cluster. Another leg claw, that's fine. Punch the leg. Break a leg. No walking allowed. Achievement unlocked. Launch. RF blade. What do you do? Hitting everybody, that's not nice because I have no way of healing multiple people other than Mystic. Time for Bazooka. Uh, Lilka, just heal yourself. You're a little low on hit points right now. Oh yeah, Lilka still has a freaking mitten equip, doesn't she? More RF blades. Yep, mittens. How about a mystic word instead? Punch break. Bonk, 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 bonk. By the way, I should mention that this game's not actually in a 9999 system. It's in a 99,999 system. You just didn't get a chance to see it because Ashley's such a low level. Um, frequently, the Trask fight, you might actually see damage numbers hit like upper four digits. It's even possible to hit lower five digits. So... Just as a heads up, that's a thing. No Brad again. Death did. Through a bunch of light. And gone. 10,800 experience in Gela. Hey look, we leveled up a couple of times and we get response apples. Progenitor bird with wings of lights, Aphiel. Achievement unlocked. What's going on anyway? First me, then Tim gets kidnapped? Why would anyone want to kidnap us? Nobody would pay our ransom. The world's gone nuts. So they were trying to kidnap me or what? Well, it sure it's like, looks like it's a distinct possibility. Ashley. Just found out myself. Just as surprised. Tim, someone might be after your secret powers. Dude, is that true? Wait a sec, that... The Verrucius. Odessa withdrew as soon as we defeated that monster, right? Of course, it's still too early to draw conclusions. What we have to focus on now is protecting Tim. I want you to come to the Valeria Chateau with us. Fine, my powers. Do you mean the powers from my medium? All right, let's do it. Power. 
power to awaken the guardians. I have that power? And there's people who want to use me to get at that guardian's power? We want to protect you so that your power doesn't get misused by anyone but me. I don't understand it all, but I know I'm scared. You're scared because you don't know the extent of your own power. Let's go together where you were born. Your fears will go away if we can learn something. My hometown? When I lived with my mother. I understand. Please take me there. Wait one second. There's no need to worry about your friends in the town of Maria. We can explain everything afterwards. You'll be able to see them again. Okay. Feleria Chateau, full speed ahead to the village of the Baskars, protector of the guardians. That's right. We're going to Baskar village. Now, how do we meet him? My whole opinion, we use, to use the common term, we're merely stowaways. Well, no matter how you look at it, we're stowaways. That doesn't matter. What happens, what matters is helping out Tim. We know he needs us. Well, that's true, but in my humble opinion, if they find us, we'll be lucky to get away off with 100 lashes. Just don't think about that. Think about getting us food. I'm so hungry, they'll hear my stomach. Yep. So, we have all of the X-Men with us, but more importantly, we have control over the Valeria Chateau. We want to go into the chateau at the moment, though. I'm Kate Lindbergh. We've met before, haven't we? Amy and I are the operators. We're also both telepaths. You want to fly the Valeria Chateau? Uh, no, not right now. Ta-da! It's me, Amy Fairchild, the face behind the voice you know and love so well. You can call me A. Amy's already a really short name. I don't need to shorten it further. Feleria Chateau received special permission to enter any country's airspace. Of Vilgaia's three nations, Guild Galad representatives bitched and moaned. But in the end, Maria Boole and Silva Land somehow wore them down. So we even have rights to Guild Galad. Go ahead and save. <coughs> You'll notice we have some more floors now. But first, we actually want to go talk with Alticia. brother told me once about a windswept cave far to the northwest by a landing pad nobody knows about. It seems Silgaia still has many mysterious places that are yet unexplored. So northwest, that is where we're going. So my plan is to not trigger the next stage of plot because there's a lot of plot. Oops. Not to go that way. Um, first floor in order to be able to refill our arm. Because we used ammo. That was here. Let's check out the basement floors. Fourth floor is the control room. We don't know anything about the basements, though. 
Our elemental rings are now ready, and they're good for picnics and pitch battles. Want one? We can buy rings. Look at how much money they cost. Ye secret ring shop. Little prison area. You don't want to be here. Oh, that looks pretty miserable, actually. So yeah, we can buy rings. We're not even at that. We're not at the halfway point of the game. For reference, we still haven't changed CDs. And this is a two CD game. So we've got a bit. And here's the engine room. The Slayheim Liberation Army wasn't an army, just guerrillas using hit and run techniques. They probably never even marched in formation. I was in the Slayheim Liberation Army myself, but I don't remember what Mr. Hero looked like. Who ever thought we'd be fighting side by side again? I am Ga Gabacho, the chief engineer of the Valerie Chateau. Ran a butcher shop before I joined the service. I joined arms to help out during this crisis. Pleased to meet you. I actually don't remember him at all. The bayonet and heavy arms are mechanical weapons made from the fossils of dragons. Are they now? Dragon fossils are a thing in Wild Arms 3. This is a launch catapult for carrier-based small aircraft. There aren't any aircraft. It's like an inn without a pretty proprietors. Of course, you can, if you want to, you can launch yourselves on this thing. Can we? Sadly not. I don't think you can actually launch yourselves easily. And back in the engine room. We haven't talked to this person. I'm Ibicho, engineer on the Valeria Chateau. Before I joined the service, I worked at my dad's butcher shop. Dad's been left alone since mom left, so I wanted to be with him. So I joined arms too. That's nice. That's apparently the Emma motor. All right. Let's move far to the northwest. So yeah, for the Valeria Chateau, we can only land in specific spots. My throat's getting, is hurting from how much I've been talking. Oh yeah. Meeting room. Nothing special. Okay. Not yet, at least. Yep, let's do this. So, Northwest. That is Ilzel Prison, by the way. I went northeast, didn't I? I actually don't know exactly where it's at. I'm assuming somewhere in the islands. That's a landing spot. Oops. Well, hopefully this is not Baskar. Because that's plot, and we don't want plot. That's silly. Gila monster.
Level 15, okay, so it's appropriate. 180 hit points, no weakness. Punch. I just punched a lizard in the face. If only if it was Lizard. We're really just Liz. I have nothing against Ard. Yep, this is what I'm looking for. The Wind Tiger's Den. Hey guys, so this is where you're aiming for. Want to hear something good? I don't get it, but the wind inside here, uh, inside the cave, the wind blows then stops. As if the wind is breathing of some large creature. As a result, the upper traps won't release. Got any ideas? So yep, basically we need to light things on fire between wind breaths. Uh -huh. This is all optional, by the way. There we go. Did it. Simple puzzles. Nothing special. Ah, head's hurting. All right. No way. Ah, not quite. I got it. Got this. It's not hard, it just takes timing, and I'm not very good at timing when I'm this tired. I am Fen... Fengalon, the one who can't be controlled by any woman. I am the guardian of the wind. And Lagan acquired. I'm fed up with being restrained by a medium. I entrust my true release to you. That's it. That's the only reason why we came here. Because that allows us to use a new guardian. And you know what this guardian does? It lets us steal. Ooh, what are you? Gargoyles. Neat. Yep, increases speed. And your ability is pickpocket. Uh, your flying units break. I wish I had any area of effect abilities. No, it's not break. Although they're gonna die from it anyway. Pickpocket. Stop. Stole a healberry. Nice. Statue form. That's high defense, isn't it? Oh, you're invulnerable. You've got a wind attack. An area of effect wind attack. Bastards. Ooh, you actually hit decent. Spark? Zap. Nope. Normal damage. It's not wind. They're definitely using it. I could just use Analyze, but I'd rather kill them. So yeah, um, one nice thing about the way this works 
is that I don't have to leave the Valeria Chateau exactly where I left it. In other words, if I were to wander over by some other means to a different point, I can just call the Chateau back up. And that's really nice in my mind. Because it actually makes sense. You don't have to keep track of where is my flying thing today. Anyway, all we're going to do is go back to the Chateau, save, and exit for the night. Ah, oh, so close, yet so far. Um, kill yourself this time. Just looking at the various poses. I think it's just Lilka that seems to be changing. There we go. Just had to hit X. That's what it was. See, I even have an autopilot. That is awesome. It lets you finally figure out where in the world you need to go plot-wise. But that's not what we're doing here. What we're doing is saving and stopping. Because having this be a couple of minutes early is fine. Especially when... I had a recent hour and a half long video. Also, I still need to edit it because I also need to edit in other things. So I will do that some other day. Good night, Internet. I will talk to you next time. Bye. Boom, ta, ta.